Hey, son. Dan. It's, it's okay. It's all right. You don't, you don't have to speak. Your mom and I just want you to know that we're here. And uh, Dr. Bauer says everything's going to be all right. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about now. In fact, he says uh, you'll be up and playing the cross again before you know it. Oh, yeah, but you know, I, um, I'm not quite sure about that. I think maybe it's time that this kid here took up a new hobby, you know, like chess or stamp collecting. Well, <laughs> the only way to protect him completely would be to have him live inside of a plastic bubble or something. Yeah, well, that would be all right with me. No, 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 there's got to be. I'll, I'll tell you what, how's this for a compromise, Shane? We'll, we'll let you play lacrosse again, but we're going to buy you a brand new state-of-the-art uh, double-thick chest protector. <laughs> and then we're going to wrap you up in bubble wrap before every game, okay? <laughs> well, that wouldn't interfere with his game at all, right? No, he wouldn't be able to run. Or raise his stick. And he'd look absurd. Well, not to mention the sound of all those plastic bubbles but popping and it squeaking. He would be safe. Yeah, that, that would be all right with me. Let's get to hear guys agree on something. When it comes to how much we love you, your mother and I have always agreed, so. So is this as difficult for you as it is for me? I, uh, I like a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> me too, except it's a little different climbing the wall at your local gym than climbing Mount Everest. I mean, how many people actually make it to the top, you know? You know something, Livy? I, um, I think it's uh, a little bit easier for me. I'm just Mommy's new friend. They've stuck you with wicked stepmother and why is that why no why am i so wicked because i love their father because i want to do everything in the world to make them happy no 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 uh i just think that it's you're so obvious and intense about it it makes you an easier target ouch uh, yeah i know but you asked so Okay, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to be relaxed like you, you know, Mr. Free to be you and me, go with the flow? Uh, here's my theory. If, if Josh and Reva were meant to reconcile, it, it would have happened already. Oh, don't, don't, don't look so sad. The guy married you. Yeah, on New Year's Eve, and we still haven't left for our honeymoon. But you will. You know that. And look, as for me, I'm just going to keep on going on appreciating Reva for who she is, not who I think she should be. And um, I don't know if she'll realize I'm so good for her that maybe someday she'll propose to me. I wish I had your confidence. I do. You know, that people actually choose what's good for them rather than what they simply can't have. Sounds good, right? Sounds perfect. My heart nearly stopped. I, I'm serious about what I said, Joshua. I don't want him playing lacrosse anymore. That may be That's overprotective not, or irrational. That's not something we have to make a decision on right now. Okay. You're right, it's just that I feel a little helpless. Reva, we're here for him. We're showing him how much we love him. That's what he needs most right now. Oh. You're supposed to be on your way to Hawaii. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you uh, caught me before I got on the plane. Ruined your honeymoon yet again. This is the only place I have to be right now. It isn't, Josh. No, it isn't. Why did this have to happen against the Red Hawks? Why did it have to happen at all? 
Well, did you find out who won? I'm glad to know you've got your priorities straight. You know, it was the best game I played all season. <laughs> I wish I'd been there, son. Well, you know what? All, all I remember is, is I see Connor, and I see a Red Hawks coming at him, so I go check the guy down, and then he makes a sidearm pass to Benny. He catches it, and the next thing I know is that I'm in the ambulance, and the sirens are going off. Well, it's a good thing your coach knew CPR. You know, that ball was doing like 70, 80 mile an hour and hit my chest. Don't sound so pleased about that. Well, uh, you know, you guys don't have to stay here if you don't, you don't want to. Where else would we be, son? <laughs> well, uh, Noah told me he was going to get some babes and nurses to come here and watch out. <laughs> oh, so that's where he went off to, huh? Rounding up the babes? I see. Mm. And I don't think it would look too cool if my parents were here. No, 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 not with the babes here, no. <laughs> you take it easy on all those pretty nurses. You still have some recuperating to do. I think I'll be good. <laughs> You're always good, sweetie. Mm. I think sometimes I take your goodness for granted. You're a lot like your dad. Well, I think Mara makes enough trouble for the both of us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hi, I thought maybe that we could use this. Thank you. Sure. Wow, you're looking better. So is your dad, for that matter. You gave him quite a scare. Uh, I'm really sorry about your trip. It's okay, really. I mean, I, I didn't try to do this on purpose or anything. Yeah, we know that, so. <laughs> you know, we should uh, figure out a way to let Mara know what's happened. Oh, uh, yeah, she's um, helping Catalina get settled in at the boarding house. She's still cell phone-less, so I'll go over and call Buzz. You know what, Reba, if you want, I can do that for you. Uh, that way you don't have to leave Shane. Thanks. Sure. It's very thoughtful of you. Sure. Thank you know what, my um, cell phone doesn't work in here, so I'll, I'll be right back. Buzz, it's Olivia. No, no, I'm not calling from Waikiki Beach. It's a long story. Look, I'm, I'm looking for Mara. Is she there? When? In Fierno, are you sure? Uh, no, that's okay, Buzz. Thanks a lot. Mara, in Fierno means Tony Santos. You are in way over your head. Inferno. Hello, this is Olivia Spencer Lewis. I'm looking for Mara Lewis. What's up? Uh, it's your stepmother. That's impossible. She's halfway to Hawaii. Wait, is she calling me from the plane? I, I don't know. Um, could you hold on for one second? She knows you're here. How? Uh, just tell her I'm not. I can't lie for you. She will never know. Uh, I can't do that, and that's not the point. Would you just please put her on the phone? This is important. Can you hear me? No está aquí. Hmm. Oh, that is not right. There. Yo, Catalina, chill, all right? <sighs> Mari, you never learn. Good news, I've located her. Stay put, I'll be right back. 